In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Iris shaders for Minecraft 1.21.9. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below where it is going to provide you with a written step-by-step -step tutorial along with all the necessary files and tools that you will need. All right, so step number one is to download the Iris shaders installer. So please go to step number one and select on this link over here that says download Iris shaders. Then it is going to bring you to a website that looks like this and just go ahead and press on download now just like so. Then press on download universal jar. Then you will now notice that we will get the Iris installer downloaded. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right like me, but what you could always do is open up your file explorer and look underneath downloads. But anyways, for clarity purposes, I recommend that you guys drag and drop the Iris installer to your desktop just like so. Then return back to the original website. And now the next thing we need to do is to download a shader pack. So underneath step number two, you're gonna see this link to CurseForge and CurseForge is a free platform where you're able to download Iris shaders. So make sure to go ahead and select on Minecraft then go ahead and scroll down and select on shaders. And once you're over here, please find some shaders that you would like to install. For this video, we're going to go ahead and install the complementary shaders just like so. And then in the right menu where it says game versions, make sure that Iris is selected. Then from here, make sure to go ahead and download it for the most recent version. Also, do not stress if the game version is not exactly 1.21.9 because shaders that work in like 1.21.8, for example, or even 0.7 or 0.6 are still going to work on 0.9, guys. So guys, please do not stress yourself out if the Minecraft version is not exactly 1.21.9. It is still going to work. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to press on these three dots that says download file. And now all you need to do is wait for the file to be installed. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24 7 unlimited slot server for you and your friends to play together. What's great about Simple Game Hosting is that you can customize every single aspect of your server. You can make it bedrock only, Java only, crossplay, etc. And you can add things like mods, mod packs, plugins, etc. with the click of a single button. It is also incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24 7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. At the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to drag and drop your shader to your desktop just like so. Then return back over to the original website. And the next thing we need to do is we need to download Java. So guys, if you haven't already downloaded Java, it's really important that you do so because java is used to run mods shaders basically anything modded minecraft related you're going to need java so underneath step number three you're going to see this link that says download java and all you want to do is you want to press on it then make sure that jdk21 is selected and then over here in the operating systems go ahead and select on your operating system so as you're going to tell we have java for linux mac os or on windows so me personally i'm on a windows so i would go ahead and select on this then i would install the x64 installer right over here and after you download that file it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard and it really shouldn't take that long and they actually do walk you through the entire process as well now you may need to restart your pc in order for java to actually be applied so please be prepared to do that all right so once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head back over to your desktop so at this point we should have three things we should have java on our system we should have our shader that we'd like to download and the iris installer what you want to do from here is you want to right click on the iris installer then select on open with, and if you did download Java like I previously mentioned, you're gonna see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on that option just like so. Then it is gonna open up a menu that looks like this. And where it says select game version, make sure that 1.21.9 is selected. And where it says installation types, make sure that Iris only is selected. Then go ahead and press on install just like so. It will now say completed. Once it says completed, you can go ahead and close out of the Iris installer and load into the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, go to the top menu and press on installations right over here. Then where it says versions, please make sure that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. But anyways, after you do that, you should see Iris and Sodium in this list over here. And as you can tell, it's going to have like the Iris logo. And once you see this, what you want to do is you want to go to the right and press over here where it says open installations folder. Now, when you do that, you're going to notice a bunch of folders will appear, but do not worry because all you need to do is you need to scroll down until you find the folder called shader packs in all lowercase, just like so. 
If for whatever reason you do not see a shader packs folder, you can go ahead and create it yourself by right clicking, then pressing on new, then calling the folder shader packs in all lowercase without any spaces or uppercases. But the point is you want to go ahead and open up your shader packs folder just like this. Then what you want to do is you want to drag and drop your shader. For this video, we are working with the complementary shaders. You want to drag and drop inside of the shader packs folder, then go ahead and close out of it, return back to the Minecraft launcher, then go ahead and select on play. In the version selector, make sure that Iris is selected. Then go ahead and press on play, press on I understand, then go ahead and press on play just like so. All right, so here we are loaded into Minecraft. So now all you wanna do is you wanna load into any Minecraft world like you normally would. All right guys, so once you're in your Minecraft world, it is now time to apply your shader. So to do that, all you wanna do is you wanna press on options right over here, then you wanna go ahead and select on video setting. Then over here, you wanna go to the top menu and press on shader packs just like so. You will now notice that the shader that we did install earlier is gonna be right over here and all you wanna do is you wanna select on it, then you wanna go ahead and press on apply just like so. Then go ahead and press on done, press on done, press on done, and then back to game just like so. And as you're able to tell, our shaders are now officially working and it actually does work on Iris. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, french fries.